ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ഞാൻ പ്രൊഫസർ വിനോദ് കുമാർ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ബിലോങ്ങിങ് ടു ദ തേർഡ് മൊഡ്യൂൾ ഓഫ് കെ ടി യു യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഹെൽഡ് ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫിഫ്ത് ഓഫ് ഒക്ടോബർ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ദർ ആർ ടു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വൺ ഈസ് ഫ്രോം സെക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സോലിഡ്സ് and the other is from development of surfaces the first question that is question number 5 is section of solids the question says a hexagonal pyramid a hexagonal pyramid 30 mm side of base and 70 mm axis is resting on its base on the ground a hexagonal pyramid 30 mm side of base and 70 mm axis is resting on its base on the ground with a side of base inclined at 30 degrees to vp then it is cut okay let us draw the pyramid in the set position when you make one side of base 30 degrees to vp it will come like this and two sides will become perpendicular to vp agree when this side is 30 degrees this side also will be 30 degrees this side will be 30 degrees this side will be 30 degrees and these two sides will be perpendicular to vp okay you must know that so they could have said one side is perpendicular to vp instead they said one side is 30 degrees to vp two sides perpendicular to vp actually they said one side is 30 degrees to vp is true correct okay how do we draw the hexagon the easiest method is choose any point draw a circle of 30 radius 30 is a side draw a circle of 30 radius very light circle very light circle then take a vertical diameter cf take the same distance 30 in your compass from this a center cut an arc on this side cut an arc on that side this a center cut an arc on this side cut an arc on this side connect them you get the hexagon you can make the circle very light or you can you can very well remove it also no problem so you have got the hexagonal pyramid a b c d e f op axis op project them with the elevation a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash take the height 70 mm up locate the apex o dash p dash join them to say so a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash o dash p dash elevation of the pyramid i have marked the dimensions 30 side and the 70 axis now this pyramid is cut by a cutting plane perpendicular to hp and inclined to vp by 45 degrees inclined to vp by 45 degrees and perpendicular to hp how is it cut it is cut by a vertical cutting plane such that it passes through 10 mm away from the vertical axis 10 mm away from the vertical axis and in front of the axis so what you have to do is take 10 mm in your compass and draw an arc with op at the center 10 mm as radius draw an arc then draw a cutting plane that is making 45 degrees to x y line 45 degrees to x y so this is the cutting plane 45 degrees to vp passing through 10 mm away from the axis i have drawn the cutting plane with the red lines now once you draw the cutting plane you will remove this part isn't it you have to remove this part to indicate that this part is removed what you do you darken darken the remaining part what does it mean means that the lighter portion is removed and the darker portion is kept that's a method of showing cut views okay sectional plan is over sectional plan is over now project 1 where is 1 1 is on bc b dash c dash project 1 to b is b dash c dash 1 dash where is 3 3 is on od project 3 to o dash d dash this is o dash d dash you get 3 dash four is on de project four to d dash e dash d dash e dash and four dash coincide four dash one dash three dash and four dash where is two two is on oc if you project two it will coincide with the projector you will not get an intersecting point it will go on along with the line parallel to the line or coinciding with the line so two dash you cannot get there what you have to do is what you have to do is 
with O as center and O2 as radius, cut an arc on any other slanted. What are the slanted? OA, OB, OC, OD, OE and OF are the six slanted edges. And the point 2 lies on the slanted edge called OC. And if you project it, you will not get the point. So, project it O as center, O2 as radius, draw an arc to cut any other slanted edge. I cut this slanted edge by an arc. I call this 2 suffix 2. Where is 2 2? 2 2 is on OB. 2 2 is on OB. Project 2 2 to O dash V dash. O dash V dash is this. Project it. What do you get? 2 2 dash. I have projected 2 2 to O dash B dash. This is O dash B dash. I get 2 2 dash. Draw a horizontal line through 2 2 dash. I get 2 dash. Now, connect them. Connect to what? 1 dash 2 dash. 2 dash 3 dash. 3 dash 4 dash already exists. It's the same line. 3 dash 4 dash. Hatch this. These hatching lines are drawn at 45 degrees to XY line and we are about 1 to 2 millimeters apart. 1 to 2 millimeters apart and at 45 degrees to XY line. This completes the sectional elevation. So what you have drawn? You have drawn the sectional plan. You have drawn the sectional elevation. Now what? You have to draw the true shape. To draw the true shape, you have to draw a line parallel to the cutting plane. Like this. I call this x1 y1 then through 1 2 3 and 4 draw lines perpendicular to x1 y1 these are drawn at 90 degrees 90 degrees to x1 y1 now where is 1 dash? 1 dash is on xy. So, on the projector through 1, on x1 y1 itself, you get 1, 1 dash. Where is 2 dash? 2 dash is this far away from xy. On the projector through 2, mark off that distance. You get what? 2, 1 dash. On the project, 3 dash is this far away from xy. Take that distance on the projector through 3, from x1 y1, mark what? 3, 1 dash. 4 dash is on x1 by 1 itself because 0 distance for 1 dash. Connect. Connect. 1 1 dash. 2 1 dash. 2 1 dash. 3 1 dash. 3 1 dash. 4 1. Sorry. 3 1 dash. 4 1 dash by straight lines. Hatch them at 45 degrees to 45 degrees to this x1 y1. What is this? This is called true shape. These are individual straight lines. One, da, one, one dash. I will write them in a better readable manner. One, one dash. Two, one dash. Three, one dash. One. That's a question. So that's a question. It's a very reasonable, easy question. I have marked all the dimensions. So usually if this question carry 10 marks, the simple position will carry, the, the plan and elevation will carry about 2 marks, the cutting plane will carry another 1 mark, 3, then the section elevation will carry another 2 marks. And the true shape will carry another 3 marks. So totally 8. The remaining 2 marks will be for dimensioning and neatness and all. That is the usual allocation of marks. I hope you understand it.
when we come to the next question in module 3 it is from development of surfaces the question says a pentagonal prism 25 mm side of base and 50 mm axis stand on HP on its base with a side of base parallel to VP and nearer to the observer a side of base parallel to VP and nearer to the observer so draw a side parallel to XY line that aside complete the pentagon how do you complete the pentagon in road angle 108 degrees draw 108 in this direction draw 108 in this direction take the distance and mark there mark there then these two are centers draw arcs to get the fifth corner that's the easiest way of drawing a pentagon a b c d e f g h i j axis o p how do you find the axis join a corner to the center of another opposite side join another corner to the center of the opposite side they meet at the axis okay now project derivation project derivation a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash i dash j dash axis o dash p dash axis is coinciding with the edge e dash i dash e dash j dash e dash j dash so axis cannot be drawn as a chain line it can be dotted as a drawn as a dotted line what is the preference of lines firm line dotted line and the chain line chain line is the last preference when the axis is not obstructed by an invisible line or a visible line you will show the axis if the axis is coinciding with either a firm line or a dotted line firm line or dotted line will be shown axis will not be shown okay now this is the plan and elevation of the prism now you have to draw the development take the distance 25 mm and mark five times because when you develop the lateral surface of a pentagonal prism you get five rectangular strips of 25 mm side because the side of the pentagon is 25 so total 125 draw vertical lines and complete it a b c d e a a and a together will form the a on the solid okay f g h i j f f and f will form the corner f on the solid okay you can draw the a pentagon on any of the pieces representing the top a, top face of the pentagonal prism you can draw a pentagon on any of this any of these five pieces to represent the base of the pentagon when you draw the bottom and the top it completes it makes complete development if you avoid these two it become development of lateral surface in the question it doesn't say lateral surface so i have drawn the full development okay now it is cut where is the cutting plane the cutting plane is to pass through the center of the axis and 45 degrees to HP. So draw a cutting plane. Draw a cutting plane passing through the center of the axis, midpoint of the axis, and making 45 degrees to HP. XY line. Okay. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and 5 dash. 1 dash is on AIF, A dash, F dash. 2 dash is on B dash, D dash. 3 dash is on C dash, H dash. 4 dash is on D dash, I dash. And 5 dash is on E dash, J dash. There are 5 vertical edges and therefore 5 points. Now, these points are to be brought onto the development. Where are they? Draw a horizontal line through one dash. This is one. And since there is one more AF, this is AF, AF has got one. This AF also will have what? One. Two is on BG. Draw a horizontal line. Two. Three is on CH. CH. 3, 4 is on DI, draw horizontal line, 4, 5 is on EJ, 5, you have got all the, all the 5 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, connect them, since I have drawn the cutting plane with the green lines, I am connecting this also with the help of green lines, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and then 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. To indicate that, once you develop the surface after cutting, to indicate that one portion is removed and the other is considered, 
you have to darken the portion that is remaining. So in this case, the bottom piece is expected to remain. So darken this. Darken this indicating that the top piece is removed. This completes the solution. I have marked the dimensions, all dimensions I have marked. 25 mm side, 50 mm axis, cutting blade passes through 25 mm above the base, cutting blade means 45 degrees to HP. Here also the portion below the cutting blade can be darkened. The portion below the cutting blade can be darkened, indicating that after cutting the top piece is removed. Agreed? This question carries 20 marks. In the previous question, when I discussed the mark, I thought it is 10 marks. It is 20 marks. Totally, if a question carries 20 marks. Now, if you mark, give mark allocation, this plan and elevation may carry 4 marks. Plan and elevation may carry 4 marks. The cutting blade, drawing the cut, correct cutting blade may carry 3 marks. The full development may carry another 5 marks. The presence of the cutting plane, the presence of the cutting plane may carry another 5 marks. So, total how much? This can be sometimes 4 marks. Okay. Total how much? 8 plus 8, 16 marks. Agreed? The remaining 4 marks, 5 plus I mean, 4 plus 4, 8, plus 3, 11, 11 plus 5, 16 marks. The remaining 4 marks will be allotted for dimensioning and general neatness and the presentation of the answer. That is a usual, uh, usual mark allocation. 20 to 30 marks is usually meant for neatness, dimensioning and presentation, etc. Agree? So, that is how most probably your marks will be allowed. Okay. Very simple question. Thank you.